dudes rock. The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. How would that go? Nah, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the codes. And my <laughs> that's what they were worried about. Rob Reiner's like, he's going to nuke Australia. <laughs> She's horrible. She's wearing a Winnebago cover. Yeah. <laughs> What she is thinks, that outfit? She Wait, thinks she's a van. A Taylor? She thinks she's a van. She's not a van. <laughs> it's like when you watch Nanette and then for two weeks we're, we're screaming at billboards, you know? Nanette kind of looks like Wallace's girlfriend. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? It's funny. Nanette's, no. I mean, Nanette's body looks like Wallace's head. Her ass is kind of his mouth. <laughs> Like, if you saw a silhouette of Nanette, you'd be like, oh, it's Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. Where is Nanette at these days? I don't know, getting pants fitted? At she's the, at the she's world's, just at a tailor? At the world's most extreme tailor? <laughs> yeah, I do circus tents and pantsuits yeah, for Australian yeah. women. Basically, if you, if you need a car cover for an RV, I can do that, and I can do Nanette's suits. <laughs> and that's another place. That's where Nanette's used, from. She is? Yeah, she's from Tasmania. Isn't that crazy? Uh -huh. It's her and Taz. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Do you think Nanette understands what the Tasmanian devil is saying? It is their native tongue. She's like, oh, right, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look well, at this bloke over here. Yeah. No, I don't know if I agree with that, but uh, yeah. you're entitled to your opinion. Do you want to do right. a memorial to your favorite comedian? Nate? Nanette. To Nanette. And Hannah Gatsby. Oh, yeah, seen, I, watched I mean this, Sean Rouse. I watched this thing, Nanette. Which yeah, R.I.P. Sean Rouse. Okay, well, we already said R.I.P. Sean, so we don't need to spend <laughs> Yeah, we don't have to drag this out. Time is precious. Anyway, you guys want to talk about... Because <laughs> this show's going <laughs> smooth as hell. Do you guys want to talk about Nanette? No. We already, I mean, we already talked about Nanette. Did we? No, we haven't. I, I like to call her Vanette, because with that ass, she looks like a fucking conversion. Got her. Fat. What do you got? A goddamn RV <laughs> in those pants? <laughs> Yeah, here's some Take other names I've been bitch. workshopping for. With Waldo? <laughs> yeah. How about that? Who's Waldo? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Go off. Yeah. Um, you got more? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of problems with that. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch I just read. I just I watched, watched the it. trailer. I watched, you watched the special. I watched, yeah, I watched the whole Wait, thing. Wait, are wow. you for real? You yeah. Watching? Well, I mean, everybody's I feel like you talking have to about. Watch Why the fuck it, would yeah. I watch it? I just watched the trailer with also, Stav, and we were both first like, of all, <laughs> yeah, but it's not right. It's not a comedy special. My she, nuts it's itch. a one woman show, right? Uh, I mean, I guess. Were there punchlines? Uh, there were. I mean, it's it's like you know, it just seems like shitty Australian comedy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. there's a whole section there about how she was raped. Yikes! Oh, that's what it's about. Yeah, she's like, the, men rape me. I was right. Oh, jeez, Louise. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust men <laughs> because they write me. It's she like, said it like that? Don't do it in a funny voice. Did yeah, she say? Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you want us to take you seriously. Um, Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. Did she say the N-word or? She did. Implied it. Yeah, I mean, we all know what she means by men. <laughs> <laughs> a, a whole pack of them. Is what the term they were wilding so, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a whole pack of men wiling, mm -hmm. a bunch of they were they all came out of they wilding. Well, she is from Tasmania, is really? She? Yeah, that's where yeah. they make them. <laughs> that's where they come from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, dude, yeah. we're gonna be banned from the country before we can probably. Get to I'm sure. Isn't all I should like except for Jim? It is Jeffries, funny. Everyone it is, is funny. bad. It at is comedy, funny right? to imagine Terrible. to imagine Nanette like. <laughs> Just, you know, she's just going about her day or whatever in Tasmania. And then there's like a, l a little tornado that comes up <laughs> oh, no. and she just gets sucked into the tornado. <laughs> and then the tornado <laughs> leaves and her hair is all fucked up and she's covered in cum. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Well, that's how it would happen in Tasmania. I wow. Know. <laughs> Look, I'm just pitching yeah. jokes for her to use. That yeah, would have been, yeah. been a good well, one. Yeah, would have been a good one. Well, you know, I'm from Tasmania, uh, so you know it happens there. <laughs> well, I'm huh. mad you guys didn't go with me on the little tornado bit. Yeah, I'm no, I thought it was <laughs> people are going to get upset about that. <laughs> I thought it was. A and great... I wanted all of us to participate in it instead of just me. No, well, I'm I. Adam's jealous I of was the way wearing, she does comedy. I was wearing yeah. flip flops. Um, Adam, maybe you should get a, a big wide ass like that, mm -hmm. and that would help your comedy. My career? Yeah. Well, people do like 
their comics with and it, bad For the bodies. record, I'm not body shaming her. Those pants were a mistake to wear. Mm. Especially what kind of sh- pants was she wearing? She, well, her pants were too tight. But They're being like sucked ass. into her ass. Mm. Yeah. And then they keep shooting her from behind. Yeah. And it looks like her pants are... Just a real... Wait, so the whole close-up on her ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most of it, yeah. Most of the Wait, specials. so it was a shot... It was shot ass first. It was. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. I See, I think that's a mistake for a comedy, fe- comedy <laughs> special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to want to see the face. Yeah, um, I would. I'd do that. Do a comedy special, and then it keeps showing from behind, and my pants and shirt are, tu- are shoved into my ass. <laughs> 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 just, just sucked away in the way. Yeah. And what? You got to press two for English. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care to investigate it, but it seemed like Jake was getting into fights with people about Nanette on Twitter or something. Yeah, I'm sure everybody wants to fight about it. Because it's either you're in two camps. You're either on a New York comic and you have to say it's bad, mm-hmm. or you're a Los Angeles comic and you have to pretend like you <laughs> fucking had like some sort of emotional breakthrough <laughs> watching it. Yeah. And they're like, wow, this changed how I thought about comedy forever. I used to think it was about using mannerism tricks and singing your punchlines. <laughs> right. Um, Talking about go okay. yeah. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was saying so. That's a thing. So instead of actually having any sort of joke, really, mm-hmm. but instead it's just recounting your trauma to a theater full of people. <laughs> yeah, but in a, like, I didn't see it obviously, but it seemed like it was like done like she's doing a special, and then she's like, you know what? Never mind. But like, if it was spontaneous in a single performance. Then that would be like okay, she's like breaking the whole the yeah, whole but format. How, gonna, how the fuck are you gonna? But do if you're that? doing that night in and night out, like you know what, never mind. Then it's just contrived and stupid. Yeah, of course, right? It is. Well, it's a performance. I mean, every. I mean, yeah, uh, we're every, not. Yeah, that's not a knock on. The, but if of, of all the ways to criticize <laughs> Nanette, pick the dumbest one. <laughs> yeah. Why? You're, you Whoa, basically not, did she the made thing. it seem like it was spontaneous, but yeah. it turns out she wrote her material. You basically no, did I'm the thing people that. that don't understand comedy say about comedy. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, would you just come up with all well, that stuff on the fly? <laughs> no, I wasn't I came to that. the early show, and that was all the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. That's literally what you're saying. No, what I'm saying is, is that it's presented as she's going to be doing an hour of comedy, and then she like pulls the rug by stopping doing the comedy. Like spont, and it's supposed Does to she- feel like spontaneous. Hmm. No, I don't know. What the fuck are you That's doing? You I haven't assume. even seen it. I haven't seen it. So what are we even talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I did see the trailer, and she said that people people think she looks like a like a bloke, mm. which was pretty funny. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty funny joke. You know what I look like? And then she did that for. She did like a Cameron Esposito. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People think oh, I'm a. I'd like. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I really don't understand how what she does is any different than what Cameron Esposito does. In fact, let me actually let me see if Cameron said that she likes Nanette because Ooh. I feel like she would hate it. That's true. Do you think Cameron she's, Esposito is like she's oh, got to be? On she's got to be pissed on my yeah. turf. On my on my turf of shitty comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I I would be, and I mean I you know I don't know Cameron Esposito. I don't know her fucking emotional state, but I would imagine. Because all of these people are self-serving fucking narcissists anyways. Yeah, I don't see any tweets here about Nanette. Now, mm. Granted, this is only going back to June 29th. That's so funny. It's, you know, it's like... You know she's mad. Uh, yeah. For she's, sure. She's got to be mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this, honestly, doing something like this is kind of like what her whole career has been building up to. I know. And you know what? It, it's like... <laughs> that actually rules. Hats Good off. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look at it through that to lens, the net. Yeah. by cucking <laughs> the American fucking version of her, salute. Oh, uh, I'm a lesbian. Yeah. I feel like Cameron's probably sitting around just pissed off going, she's not even Hispanic. <laughs> Well, isn't that what she tried to do with rape jokes? Doesn't she have a special called yeah, rape jokes? Yeah, she has a special about rape jokes that people aren't talking about because people are talking about Nanette. Yeah, damn. Damn. You think mm-hmm. Cameron Esposito is trying Nanette. to fucking run the hit on Nanette? Dude. Why that... is it called Nanette? Her name's Hannah. Yeah, they explain it in the special. Nah, that's a problem right there, bro. <laughs> right there, I don't like that. Your name's I'm not Hannah. Gonna watch Name it. your special Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. Nanette, the fuck does that mean? That means I'm calling you Nanette. Little. I don't know. I, to be you honest with you, I, I kind of zoned out here and there while watching it because I was looking up the different types of wheat thins on Wikipedia. Yeah. Look, dude, I straight up, I'm back at June 14th now, not a single fucking tweet Ooh, about Nanette. Ooh, damn. Yeah. What about yeah. her wife? 
Um, there are people, I just searched both of their names. There are people that are saying, if you like Nanette, you should check out Cameron Esposito's Those jokes. are bots. Yeah. Those are no, those are just lesbian women. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's probably true. Oh, that is so funny, dude. That is hilarious. That is. I, I, wish, I wish this wasn't such a low energy podcast that I could get excited about. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually legitimately very stoked on I this. I know. That's so yeah, funny. It that's rocks. Great. That's, that's Cameron a, Esposito hates a Nanette, and we that is actually that a big scoop there. of our part. <laughs> yeah, 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 we yeah, just yeah, crack yeah. the code. You're I'm tempted to, to just go, just say that Nan, just really just go hard defending Nanette now because of out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do it. We're pro yeah. Nanette. You should. I mean, honestly, if you have to compare the two, uh, Hannah Gatsby's a million times better. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And there really is only room for one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you gonna call another man by your own damn name? <laughs> just like <laughs> a black comedian not understanding the movie Call Me By Your Name. I don't understand it. Why did they call each other by It doesn't really names? make sense. Yeah, it's like one of those weird things that people do in relationships. Oh, so he would just call, like, if I, if I was fucking Adam, I'd be like, hey, stop, 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 suck stop my stop. dick. No, they were yeah. like, stop, 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 Adam, 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 Adam. I think that's what they did in the movie. Mm. It didn't really make sense. Did they call each other their names while they fucked? Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, they call each other Nanette. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like an Australian slur for a gay man, a Nanette. Yeah. Dude, let's shout out to Nanette. N- now that we're officially pro Nanette, Dude, come I'm, through the show. Hey, yeah, come through. Enemy of an enemy is my friend. That's yeah, right. enemy of an enemy. <laughs> it's Game of Thrones out here, dude. Yeah, she's like, I'm not enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we know you hate Cameron Esposito. She hates I also, you. I mean, I don't I know, know, we know you just did this her. to dog that ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just trying to dog. <laughs> you're trying to dog <laughs> mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Uh, the true detective. True, true detective. It was, he was just saying gobbledygook. Nah, he was. He was How about true nanective? Nanective. That's what we've been it's missing. Like, uh, my ass is a flat circle. <laughs> <laughs> my ass is a big flat circle. <laughs> and we like it. That's the point. A lot of people we... like, oh, look at that wide bloke. He looks like the angry block from Super Mario 64. <laughs> Good, good bloke. Yeah. Good bloke, that angry good bloke. bloke. Hey, where, where's that bloke's band aid? And then they get up close and realize I'm not that angry cement block from Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a Lezo. <laughs> from far away, people think I'm a Roo. Yeah. <laughs> and they get close and realize I'm just a Lezo. I'm a Lezo. Is that good bloke? Nope. Just I a have Lizzo. built a career of calling myself. That cement block from <laughs> Super Mario 64, <laughs> and I simply will not do it anymore. Maybe I should fix myself by not rejecting irony, but going just nothing but earnestness Whoa, at no. all times. Be post-irony. That yeah, go Nanette, baby. Nanette's not... Well, I guess She's Nanette sincere. is, but most of the people most of the people in that... Re- that realization a couple weeks ago that Cameron Esposito probably hates it, Yeah, and then realizing that that's true. I've since found out that that is true. Nice. How does that make um, you feel? Well, I guess it like answers like a lot of the things that like kind of made me upset with woke art and like woke bullshit over the last couple of years. Blog feminism got popular in like 2013. Like, and uh, you know, I've always just been a comedian. I didn't go to school. Yeah. yeah. My entire adult life, I've been a comedian. My mm-hmm. entire world has been comedy, and yep. comedy is a very stupid world you filled with dumb very people. Young. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so there was none of that. There was none of like conversations about like identity politics or whatever. It was all. It was just comedy. Yeah, seeing if you could do well. In and then that Hitchens essay came out, yeah, and then that's funny. when like wokeness sort of stuck its head into the world of comedy. Yeah. And then it ramped up. Well, anyways, what I was saying about all this like woke shit shows up, and it's like you're not like you don't disagree with like the actual things they're saying. But you don't know why it like bothers you, and it's like because it's like most of the time just inherently cynical. It's cynical. It's just a way to get a career in entertainment. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's hard to accuse somebody of that. You just, as a comedian, you can smell the bullshit or whatever. Yeah. And uh, and then that's like not bullshit. I think it's not funny, and like yeah. no, I think a lot of the points she makes are like pretty stupid. But it feels <laughs> honest. You know result. when this all started? Honestly, when you watch "Call Me by Your Name," dude. Uh huh. Gay de- propaganda de- descend- infect your No, December. call me by your name and Nanette were both two things I saw in the last year that like because it's very hard again 
to make like <laughs> something that's like sentimental that isn't fucking j- it doesn't cross the line into being like Bad, schmaltzy corny. saccharine corny which oh. Nanette doesn't really do but there's like they're different for different reasons good but it, anytime that I'm like surprised by something that I think I'm gonna fucking hate and it's like mm-hmm. oh yeah that was actually pretty good I mean it means something to me yeah um, and both of those like I, yeah now that it cause you're like there's humanity under my cause I I, my I, I, I sat heart. down and I actually watched Nanette all the way through and it's not powerful or anything but like yeah I mean so it's much coherent com- it's coherent and like yeah. she's speaking honestly and very few comedians do that's that that's true yeah it's like you know I, they, I, they're looking for the right thing to say in a particular moment right and is they, it necessarily comedy then <clears throat> it's just like a one woman show no it's bad comedy it's but bad comedy. it's but good it's art I guess I mean yeah. not, and not even that I, I don't have it's much it's just honest art what it is it's yeah. different than every special I've seen yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's in a way where like the core of what's that man at I don't really have a problem with because and that's the thing too is like i don't like that it's labeled as comedy but like when you speak honestly on those things if that had been done like the whole time and like kind of why i was like with like the me too stuff it's like oh yeah obviously but like a lot of woke posturing again it's like yeah, cynical it's cynical mm-hmm. it's just i don't trust it mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah yeah sure. my problem with me too movement not enough punchlines. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last per minute. Nanette, baby. same thing, dude. <laughs> yeah. LPM. I mean, look at the state comedy's in. And it's like, Nanette is the most popular. Oh, true. Country. Yeah, that sucks dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, well, as it's a, a special, weird... I mean, comedy is so bad now that it's just moved away from comedy. Which, well, from like, stand hey, whatever, dude. Comedy's just... not... I don't think comedy's important. Yeah. So, well, stand-up comedy. That's what I'm fucking talking yeah. about. Yeah. It should be Nanette. Yes. You should have to get raped. To be she dead. worked yes. her way up, rape after rape. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny that she had to try to do a second special, and she kind of already blew the rape load. Yeah. So the second one was like, uh, asking for a bus transfer is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, she went back to comedy? <laughs> yeah, she was like, she, like, <laughs> she, she went back to observational, like observational stuff. Yeah, that's She's so like, funny. easy, Mac. Were we under the impression that the regular one was too hard? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> For who? <laughs> Fucking retards? <laughs> wow. I know a kid that drowned in a pool <laughs> and he could still make regular mac and he cheese. He could make regular mac. He, he suffocated in an inch and a half of water, <laughs> but he could still manage to make regular mac and cheese. <laughs> who are you dumbing it down for? <laughs> Terry Shavo? <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. Nanette's wow. going Remember blue. Remember that? Nanette's going, Nanette's going there's blue. No, there's no prisoners. Wow, you're a real... <laughs> that's real na- Bob Saget She's level a fucked up comedy. guy. That was a weird up. situation. Wasn't that weird? The parents wanted to kill her, and the husband wanted to keep her alive, probably because she got so skinny after... <laughs> Being good, put in a code. Talk about a smoke show. She might have had good pussy. I mean, I understand why she had to starve herself to the extent that she ended up in a coma. Because she was too fat beforehand. <laughs> but now that she's beautiful, the husband wanted to keep her around. <laughs> Legally, can you fuck your wife who's in a coma? Mm. Uh, yeah, if it's your wife. Nine eleven. That was a doozy, wasn't it? That was yeah. a real didgeridoo. You know what I think? Obviously, the biggest fucking issue... Why the hell weren't there three towers? That's true. <laughs> they only had two planes. <laughs> if you had three towers, we still had one of them. That's right. Man at two. Yeah, I believe it was called Douglas. It's called du- <laughs> it was called Douglas. She called it that? It's called yeah. Douglas, named after my favorite character on Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she is autistic, right? Yeah, yeah. Is she? I think she is. She came wasn't out she as fucking autistic. some other les- yeah. like a famous lesbian? Yeah. Yeah. Nanette was is named after uh, a woman that I fell in love with, and Douglas was a dog that I used to have sex with. Yeah. <laughs> he made. He was a golden retriever named Douglas, <laughs> and I'd smear peanut butter all over my pussy, and <laughs> the dog would lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd say, I'd say, tip, tip top, Douglas. <laughs> and that's how she, she realized oh, that funny. she was a les- lesbian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From the dog. Because mm-hmm. a dog's mouth is a lot like a woman's mouth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's what everybody, yeah. as everyone that everybody tried to get that. sucked off by a dog There's before nothing. would know. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing, bro. It's brother. the same thing. It's just like a chick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They say black people love fried chicken. Who doesn't? Have you had it? That's a good observation. It's good that. stuff. Fried we chicken. all love. Everyone loves chicken. That's Is that true. supposed to be bad? I love it. I love the stuff. 
I love chicken. Now, too. how about all these aboriginals? We got to get them no, out. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we got to get them out of here. It's where we got our own type of black people, isn't it? <laughs> and if you could imagine, if you imagine if I said Australian black people and you closed your eyes and opened it, that's, and that's what they were, you'd say this has to be some kind of joke. Well, obviously, a racist came up with this. <laughs> If I had to come up with some goofy <laughs> kazoo fucking version of black people and what you spit out was a guy with a nose that's half the width of his face playing an old toilet paper roll and pretending it's an instrument. That's a... That's a nah, nah. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. nah, nah, come on. I mean, Hannah. There's not even a button on the fucking thing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It doesn't turn. It's a tube. But it's a fucking tube. But that's the same for... Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Nothing. Are you just let let Hannah go? Nah, nah, dude. just go. Yeah. Hannah's doing a great job. Of <laughs> I don't want to cut right Hannah. Now. Why are you fact checking her? I don't. No, I wasn't gonna fact. Yes, check. you were. You're mm -hmm. gonna say it's the same as some other. Bullshit. Wow, great mm -hmm. instrument. What songs can you play on that? Any Mozart, <laughs> Beethoven? Oh, nothing. Just a just, just a hum. Just a, a, a monotone droning just noise. Just a stupid hum. That's it's one. What is the uh, what song is that? <laughs> It's happy birthday and what you play at a funeral. That's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's the same fucking... It's the what? same song. That's not an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely a fucking hobby. Wow, no, no. That's my and, their, and their weapons, there's a boomerang. A boomerang? Just make another one, you fucking idiot. It's this big <laughs> stick. Yeah. Who the fuck looked at a boomerang and they said, oh, I'm going to want this back? <laughs> I'm going to need to hang on to this thing. She takes no prisoners in Douglas. <laughs> Anna Gatsby's back. And she's not playing nice anymore. How about the only thing that gives it any value is that you painted a bunch of fucking stripes on the thing. <laughs> Just don't do that, you fucking moron. That's true. That kind of makes then sense. Then it goes back to just being a piece of shit L-shaped stick. Well, it's more carved than... <laughs> nah, nah, She's you... tired of the bullshit. <laughs> nah, nah, you've been hanging out with the Legion of Skanks too much. Me and Lewis were hanging out the other <laughs> Me and Lewis were talking about how much we actually like right. It was me, Lewis, <laughs> Schultz. Me and Lewis and Schultz went to shoot guns. And <laughs> after spending a weekend there, I just have to ask... These 14-year-olds knew what they were getting into <laughs> with Dalia. Completely changed my mind on it. <laughs> if the, the whole argument is what? That an 11-year-old girl has no sexual agency. That's true. You got to get out of your Western paradigm. But you didn't think about it that way, did you? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Free Delia. <laughs> Free Delia. I think he's cool. <laughs> Hannah Gatsby <laughs> loves Chris Delia. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the race master general. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that you know remember how a blockbuster used to make you rewind your own videos yeah, that's true. That, that feels disgusting in retrospect doesn't it imagine having to wipe your own cum off a woman after sex that's what it feels like as being assaulted on i'm still working on that one that one's just that's we're doing new uh, new stuff today folks that one's in the oven if we got any jewish friends in the audience oh right? god what? Hannah Gatsby. This guy's <laughs> kind of talking. <laughs> Doing her blockbuster material. Yeah. She's. This is her third special. She's really running out she's, of ideas. She's really just trying to go through all the old notebooks <laughs> and figure out what she can cash One in on. One last and paycheck before everyone realizes she's. Can not we just that stop funny. pretending like anybody wants to read a fucking book? <laughs> <laughs> Who are these assholes perpetuating the book law? <laughs> Damn, dude. I would well, watch a book when you can watch a movie. So fucking true. It's got fucking in it. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch people fuck. <laughs> I want to see someone fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Winner of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. <laughs> Talking to my friend that was reading a book, they said, oh, I'm so invested in these characters. You should invest in Bitcoin and buy child porn off. <laughs> it's a better investment. If we're talking about investments. <laughs> well, you're investing in characters. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting ripped off by the character. <laughs> You've got to invest in Bitcoin. But I'm really into Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I can't get enough of this stuff. I'm buying on. so much Bitcoin. <laughs> I got heaps Bitcoin. I'm buying heaps child porn. On, on paper, Bitcoin. I'm on paper. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I would love to watch that. Mm-hmm. Hannah Gatsby. Mm-hmm. She's pissed. She's pissed off. The fucking caution tape. I think the only yeah, reason wrapped her under her yeah, mouth. She's got caution tape on her mouth. Everybody <laughs> kind of idealizes Asians for being so zen like oh, yeah. Buddhist. <laughs> Go off, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have to be if you had a three inch back. If your cock was so yeah, small, you live with a dick that small, you all want to learn karate too. I'd learn karate and I'd learn how to fucking meditate. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what about Indian people? <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> I'd learn how to fucking. I'd learn how to fucking <laughs> to, to focus on my inner self too. If half of if the promise was that there was more cock somewhere in there that I could push out. <laughs> that I could somehow meditate so That's much with Zen Buddhism is, folks. Is that I could wheel my asshole to push more cock out of my <laughs> pubic bone. Hannah Gatsby is <laughs> just saying the N word now. <laughs> six months only. <laughs> Catcher, six months only at the Sydney Opera House. 